Eastern. My name is Sue Lin, and today I'm gonna take you guys to Gyeongbokgung. the stationery store in Korea and it's the place where everyone gets their school supplies. So today I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite supplies and things like pens, best erasers, <laughs> and other supplies you can use during your study abroad in Korea. Now Korea has a lot of cool folders and binder systems and I found that my favorite similar to this. You can find thinner ones out there, but they're more like cases. But I found this to be a lot more effective in keeping, especially if you don't use a traditional backpack. This will keep all of your papers nice and organized and won't fold them in your backpack, which is super nice. And they come in all different colors. To make it easier for when you shop, they have these little buckets that you can put all your products in. Kubomungu is like stationary heaven. They have all the pens, all the brands. My personal favorite, my favorite are the Zebra Sarasa clip pens. My personal favorite is the 0 0.5. This is my absolute favorite pen. It writes so well. And one other nice thing about Kyobomungu is that they always give you a little bit of paper to try all the pens. But when you're actually looking for a pen that you want to buy once you've decided, make sure to look for one that has a little red ball plate. That's the plastic protectant. And then you can take that off and it's a new pen. They have multiple colors as you can see. There's so many options, and there's also different brands. All of the labels will tell you the brand, the size, and then which version it is, and then the price. So my favorite pen is the Zebra Sarasa Clip Pen in 0.5 and it's only 1,500, which is about a dollar and 50 cents. Now this means pen, and for pencils, you're gonna want to look for shakpu. I don't really have a favorite pencil. I think honestly the lead is more important, but for me, I do use this one, which is the Zebra Tablet Clip Sharp, and this is 0.5 milliliter lead. I'm personally not the biggest fan, but they do have a huge mild liner selection here as well, which is very popular. Like I said, I feel like for pencils, the lead is more important than the actual pencil itself. My personal favorite is this brand, and so my favorite is just the regular HB, and like I said, I always get 0.5, but if you like softer pencils, B is also really nice and they have a lot of different options. Next are erasers. They also have a lot of different eraser options. My personal favorite are the Ein ones from Pentel, but these mono erasers from Tombow are also super, super, really, super, super good. My favorite part about Kubomungo is that they have cute selections as well tons of options for stationery, all of these. So for any miscellaneous items like pencil cases or even pencil grips, they just have so many options. Oh my God, look at how cute this is. They even have art supplies. Ultimately, my favorite thing about Kyobomungo is that they literally have everything. There's most likely one in your neighborhood. It might be, it might go by a different name. Sometimes the front name changes by brand, 
but if it ends in Wungu, that's most likely a stationery store. So definitely go look for the one in your area. Let me know which products end up being your favorite and if you use any of the ones that I personally recommended in this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and if you'd like to see more of my Korea adventures, I also have a YouTube channel at suwon.k that I'll link below. Thanks for watching!